Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, you remember this? Actually, you, you can't remember this uh, because it's, this is the first time I'm showing this. It's still the LED strip balance and dimmer thing. Um, but in this case, I have swapped out the Arduino LED Uno and inserted an AT Tiny 85, which works fine actually. Um, the other thing is that because this has an LDO on it and uh, the AT Tiny in itself, of course, doesn't, I need to step down the 12 volts to 5 volts, but I also need the 12 volts to power these LED strips. So that's why this buck converter is there. I've labeled the two rails uh, 5 volt and 12 volt uh, because I don't accidentally want to connect uh, 12 volt to the AD Tiny because it probably won't like that. The potentiometers, they're still the same. Um, the MOSFETs are also the same. The only thing that is different is that there are a few extra resistors. And to explain why these resistors are there, I will make a tiny setup on a breadboard. So let's get this out of the way. Get a fresh breadboard. Actually, it's not so fresh, but it will be fine. Um, I need a MOSFET and I'm using the let me see if I can zoom in. The IRZ44N and I need an LED and I need, in this case, I'm just going to use uh, a CR2032 battery with some leads soldered on. Um, I need some resistors. These are 100 ohm resistors and these are 10k resistors. I need some jumper wires. And that's it. Uh, I'm going to start by putting the MOSFET into the breadboard. Bend it a little. Now from left to right it goes gate, drain and source. So the source is going to be connected to the negative side of the battery. Just gonna use the rail for easy access. On the drain, I'm gonna connect the LED with the cathode going to the drain and the anode going to the positive voltage rail. And in this case, I'm just using a current limiting resistor in doesn't want to go there we are and now all I have to do is connect the battery now nothing happens um, and that's because the gate of the MOSFET is not charged so I'm just gonna get a jumper wire connect that to the gate of the MOSFET And when I connect this to the positive rail, the gate is charged and a channel opens up between drain and source and that in turn lights up the LED. Now a cool thing you can do with a MOSFET is because it needs such a small charge, um, you can use your body, in this case my fingers, as a conductor. If I touch the positive side of the battery and then touch the gate it charges the gate through my body and the LED lights up. Now if I let go of the positive side of the battery or in this case let go of the gate it stays on and that's where the 10k resistor comes in now by connecting a 10K resistor or any higher value of a resistor to the gate and connecting it to the negative terminal of the battery, which is in this case this rail over here, it ensures that when there's no voltage applied 
to the gate, the gate can discharge through that resistor and turn off the channel between the drain and the source. So I'm just going to plug that in. Actually, I need one. This also shows that my body is no longer able to turn on the MOSFET anymore. But I can turn it on by just simply connecting it to the positive battery rail. And as soon as I disconnect it from the positive side of the battery, it turns off. Now this ensures that unless the gate is driven by a high signal, it's automatically pulled low and will be in the cutoff region, that means off. Now the other resistor, which was a 100 ohm resistor, this is not a 100 ohm resistor, this is a 100 ohm resistor, is placed between the gate and on the other breadboard, the, one of the PWM pins of the AT Tiny. Now the resistor is there to not as much protect the MOSFET, but protect the microcontroller that's going to be driving the gate of this MOSFET. Um, initially, when the MOSFET starts charging, or the gate of the MOSFET starts charging, it draws about a peak current of 3 amps. Now, of course, the AT Tiny can't actually source 3 amps of current. Um, but to protect the AT Tiny or any microcontroller from having to go beyond its limits, uh, there's this resistor. It's a 100 ohm resistor and that limits the current to about 33 milliamps. Now that will hopefully ensure that the AD Tiny will keep working and we don't see any magic smoke. Um, thanks for watching, I uh, hope you learned something. If you did, thumbs up and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.